that's the video we'll be creating today but for a change we'll be doing things a little different i'll be linking up with some of your favorite content creators on tiktok on youtube and on mark zuckerberg's internet as instagram i will be recreating some of the popular trends and transition videos together so besides seeing how we create this content we'll also get to know them better and you know behind the scenes on how to they go about their content creation process before then we now head back to the studio to edit what we created together so i'll be calling this series the create with and i'll be bringing it to you every week fingers crossed not said about that um our first creator on this series is akin faminu a fashion and lifestyle content creator let's get to meet him shall we here's my guy yo what's good my g Jakush. how far now <laughs> First question of the day. Um, how are you a doctor and a you know a content creator and you can afford the bench? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well that's the I, I work two jobs now. You work two jobs? Yeah, I pass as a doctor. Go uh -huh. and then, uh, apart from that obviously there's content creation. So it's so quite well. Uh -huh. so. so you need to be investigated, that's <laughs> not enough. <laughs> And I don't go about with you now. <laughs> I think that this is the cause I did. I like it. Yeah, no. Um, so today we are doing wrong way transition. transition. Yeah. So um, let's get it. Let me set my camera and we're good to go. I'm ready for you. Let's go. So today's yeah. videos, like I said before, is just repeating outfits on a, like a wrong way. Come on. Uh, so the reason behind you choosing your outfits. Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically my outfits were chosen in um, thinking of a variety. I wanted it to reflect a like, different kinds of style. So mm -hmm. I wanted like different sets of people watching the same video appreciating at least one outfit out of it. So there's like the urban street style, there's the darker style, there's the high fashion. So like five groups for each of them are like different from each other. So that like when people watch it, they can appreciate one particular part of it. And then is that he's going to be walking out of this door across the frame. So I have already got to my frame on my phone right now. So all he just has to do is walk in different outfits coming out from that door across the frame. After I'm done getting all my shots, we'll head back to the studio to edit the clips. So let's get right into it. The app I'm going to be using to edit the video is called VN Editor or Vlog Now Editor. It's one of the apps I mentioned in my last video. My top three best video editing apps in 2021. If you missed that video, I'll leave a swipe card right here. You check it out and you know get familiar with those apps. They'll really help your content creation process. Let's get right into it. All you just have to do is you've gotten your clips already, so we'll import all of them into the VN app. So we'll create new project. You click on that plus button, click on new project, and yeah, so let's import the file. So we'll, you choose the first clip you want to start with for you to add subsequent clips and subsequent characters. Let's call them characters. You have to add them as a sticker right there on that PIP that's picture in picture. So that's how you stack up the layers. My best approach towards this is when the character is almost out of the frame, that's when you put the new character to, to, um, to follow up. So when the character is halfway out of it, you can see right there. Then I import the next character to come join it. Yeah, so right, just right there. So so for us to make this effect work, we'll use, you click on the new video that you just uploaded, click on mask tool, click on linear, then turn your, turn the tracker, let's call that this middle thing a tracker, we'll, um, turn it to 90 degrees and just put it just right and um, feather it a bit by dragging, you know, click, click on that, um, that circle, then just drag it to the right a bit to feather it so let's move it away from the character and just leave it just right there yeah so for this effect to work and we'll need to keyframe this tracker just so it follows the first character out of the frame you get it so 
basically keyframing is like recording different actions and when you play it back it looks like an animation so what we'll do is we're going to record the position of this tracker till the first character leaves the frame first of all we'll go back and we'll record this first position keyframe the first position then now as we as we scrub through like as we move forward to um, this thing, you see that the um, the first character has moved is moving further away from the frame so when you move forward and you move the tracker it automatically adds a new keyframe so we move forward again then we move the tracker then it adds a new keyframe we move forward then we move the tracker it adds a new keyframe now you can notice that the second video is already appearing right in the first frame like in the whole frame so it, the effect is already accomplished so what we just need to do is just have to allow the first character move away totally so when the first character has moved away totally we'll carry the tracker and move it completely to the left so while that first character was in while that first character was in frame the second character was already there so that's basically the effect that's you selling the effect right there and you make sure that uh, and you make sure that the tracker is well feathered that it doesn't look like there's a hard cut between the two clips so when you start when you but you see right there just right there on his shoe it looks like there's a it looks further there so what we'll just do is we'll move that back a bit so it doesn't affect his shoe then scrub it forward move it away move the tracker away so just so that it doesn't have it doesn't show that the so just so that the feather is not on his shoe then when it's totally out of the frame you move the tracker away so if you play that right back you see how clean that went so if you repeat this method on each outfit and each movement of your characters this is what you are going to get So that's basically it about the runway loop effect um if you have any questions please do leave them in the comment section i'll be sure to help you on anywhere you got stuck if there are any creators you want me to work with um you can also leave a comment there uh, just leave them leave their names in the comments i'll be sure to reach out to them and you know get a collab in and you know bring a video to you so my name is Oka Fortuna. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe right now and also leave a like button, you know, so YouTube can share this video to other a lot of people. And here is a video about how to use the green screen effect on your smartphone. And here is how to do the popular freeze frame effect. Until the next one, my name is Uche. Peace.